Hi, day 37 of my vlog series, um, the journey to life series that I'm walking currently, and this is being walked within blogs um, that I'm writing out self-forgiveness and self-corrective statements to be able to investigate myself and purify myself through forgiving myself for how I've lived in a faulty way. And then from this forgiveness, from what I've realized through writing out the forgiveness and writing out the investigation of how I kind of created this faulty living, um, from that point then you write out self-commitment statements and you walk those commitment statements, walk the self-forgiveness statements, walk the realizations within what you've written and walk your correction and living actual reality. So that's the process that's being walked within destiny and the beings that are walking these Journey to Life blogs. Um, I suggest I I put um, video support and you know a Facebook group on these descriptions of these videos if you are interested in learning more about this if you kind of just have come upon this video um, check out the support in the description box the videos and such that are there and um, I definitely suggest investigating this and um, seeing what it's about and trying it for yourself and um, it's a really cool point for yourself to change and become a being that is trustworthy and responsible so thus we can live this in our greater world you know change ourselves in our inner, inner worlds in our individual worlds and then eventually in the greater world where we'll stand and change what is here to a system that supports everyone instead of a system that people have to survive and a lot there's a lot of suffering and death going on here so there's a whole process be that's being walked within the destiny group and I definitely suggest checking it out if you haven't yet okay um thought I'd just give a little recap of what's going on here so in this blog that I wrote last night it was about hope and hoping for someone to come and save me. Um, so within this hope, it was based on, I saw it was based on a point of not wanting to push myself and face myself within what I'm seeing here, what I'm living, how I'm existing here within, existing as a mind in my mind existing separate from reality and existing in self-interest a big point that I'm seeing that I'm facing is this point of laziness not wanting to you know really push myself and um, you know really commit myself to walking this process absolutely um, I still see I'm, like, I have resistances, which is a normal part of process resistances because, um, the mind is going to try to survive and it has all these, these resistances built into itself to make people or make the beings that, you know, make us as a mind consciousness system participants not realize themselves and not you know walk the process that's being walked here to actually live here as life in the physical so you know if we transcend the mind consciousness system so to speak then it ends and you know it's doing what we're doing we're trying to survive here and it's trying to survive as well so the resistance is actually a part of process but accepting and allowing myself to fall into the resistances and be lazy and not want to push myself is unacceptable. 
and it's a point I saw within this desire to have someone else show me the way or someone else tell me how to walk my process, what is going on with me. Um, I know there's a certain, obviously, a certain point of understanding that needs to be gained through other people and getting assistance when I need it and asking questions and things like that. But, the, of course, there's you have to, you know, be self-honest within this. And there's times where I just don't want to push myself and I just want to be lazy and just go back to the way I used to be. But, of course... I will not accept that point within myself of laziness because that's just completely limiting myself and, you know, that is self-sabotage to the max and, you know, it's not who I am here. So I will continue to push myself through the resistances and not allow myself to fall into you know, accepting them. Um, another point of hope is escaping, you know, what I see within myself that I have to face and kind of within this point seeing um, the, how it's, you know, looking at it from a huge scope and seeing it's kind of like an overwhelming thing. Um, so realizing the point that you have to bring it to here in breath and do what you can do in each breath. You know, you can't go and, you know, build a house in one day. It's going to take, you know, steps to get there. So each day do what I can do and be satisfied with that. You know, be, you know, allow myself to you know, just live here and be and breathe and not be so judgmental about myself and, um, you know, just stop that and just, you know, do what I can do for the day and wake up and do what I can do here the next day. So stopping the hope is just a point of self-abdication. To not have to walk my process fully, absolutely, and just um, take the back door and not push myself. So it's only limiting myself, it's only sabotaging myself, I'm only doing this to myself. So, you know, it's not a point that's worth it because it's gonna if I'm gonna face these consequences of you know eventually it's gonna catch up and I'm gonna be fucked I'm gonna fuck myself pretty much so obviously it's just you know the tools are here to walk so I'm just gonna walk them and push myself and not accept the resistances also within that understanding you know the balance of that and not going into this point of total self-sabotage and the other spectrum of, you know, self-judgment and seeing myself. Well, these are for other blogs too, but like in this comparison point and, you know, worrying about what other think people think about me and, you know, hoping that they see me and you know, see what I'm doing, that I'm doing a good job and I'm impressing other people. So just living outside of myself, trying to gain this point of something outside myself to tell me, you know, I'm good, I'm doing okay, instead of me standing up with myself and being that for myself, being my own self-acceptance, being my own self-satisfaction, you know, taking responsibility for myself and doing it for me, living for me. But living for all and one is an inequality, of course. But I really have to walk this point of self acceptance and stopping going into the mind as hopes and laziness, resistance, living into res resistances. Bring myself back here, take it slow, 
and focus on what I'm doing, like how I'm living and focus on making myself more efficient and um, more self-perfected in my living application. So focusing on the physical and walking the tools and stopping going into illusions is hope and because no one's coming to save me there's no one here to come and save what's going on here and fix it we're the solution here i'm the solution we as humanity <clears throat> are the solution so we have to walk it it's just plain and simple we have to walk the solution as ourselves so that's what is being done here. We're walking the solution as ourselves. And I commit myself to walk this until it is done and we're here in equality and oneness aligned with the physical, one and equal with the physical and supporting all life here instead of consuming it and destroying it, but living among it equal. And thus we can finally enjoy ourselves and, you know, enjoy ourselves as living beings, for real. So it'll be something, so, okay, thanks for listening and enjoy.